Hey guys, uh, one thing I wanted to show you today is to how to calibrate a continuous servo. This right here is a continuous servo and what it does is it's a modified servo and as opposed to switching positions what it does is it actually will spin and either clockwise or counterclockwise at a given speed. First thing we need to do is actually look at the code. Okay so here's the code you need to uh, calibrate your servo. As always, I will start out with a header that's commented out. Uh, next, I include the servo.h library. That should be all you need. Uh, then I define my servo. I'm defining mine as servo1. Uh, next is the integer. Uh, 9 is going to be my pinout. Uh, servo out equals 9. And then here is the servo speed. Uh, what you have is, is you set a point that you want to be the midpoint or the point where it stops. Anything higher than that point will spin in one direction. Anything lower will spin in the opposite direction. I'm going to go ahead and set mine to 75 for this example. And uh, in the void setup, I'm going to have servo 1 attached to servo out, which is pin 9. And then in my loop, I'm going to have servo 1 uh, is a right, and I want to write uh, servo speed, which is then set to 75. What that will do is it will send a constant value to the continuous servo of 75 and just 75. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, what, what you want to do on the servo itself. Okay, once you actually uh, set up the code, what we then have to do is look at this and somewhere on your continuous servo there will be a hole or a screw with a potentiometer. Uh, on this particular one you can see that there's a, a hole with a screw in there, if you can kind of see it in there. There's a screw in there. What that does is that turns the potentiometer and that determines the position that the servo thinks is at. So one thing you have to do is you have to find a screwdriver small enough to fit in there. I just happen to have one right here. And what that'll do is that'll go in here and you can take that screw and you can turn it just like that. And the more you turn it, you can see right now is the more it spins. What you want to do to spin it either the direction and the speed you want. Or what's most helpful is if you actually get it to a point where it's not spinning at all. Right there. And what that does is it sets that number in the code. Sets that as your middle point or your sit still point. Anything higher than that will spin in one direction. Anything lower than that will spin the other direction.